so welcome back thanks for clicking uh, I'm gonna talk about my new old truck again I know so I'm on a couple of uh, Facebook groups some Chevy classic truck Facebook groups I've been learning a lot from these groups a lot of great information out there and also a lot of bad information it seems very brutal <laughs> if someone posted something i mean there's a lot of wisecrackers out there but you know if you weed through all the, the bad stuff you'll find some good posts and find good people and i'm always looking to see what people do to their trucks and there's a few that i see they say just get in and drive it just drive it you know you know there's a few things that i want to do but then you know you're not too sure if i want to do them if it's a waste of money because the biggest thing i've seen on these facebook groups is that people spend a lot of money on these trucks like restoring them or just getting them to where they want them to be they they spend thousands and thousands of dollars i definitely ain't gonna be that person because i don't even have that kind of money and i don't even i that's not the reason why i bought this truck i bought the truck to keep it just cool something just to drive around once in a while as a uh, just a cool little truck the more and more i look at this truck as you can see in this video the body panels don't line up there's a bunch of gaps everywhere all different color paints on this thing um and then you can see here it's like the molding doesn't match up not line up doesn't match up it's almost like they're different moldings uh, i'm a little confused about that you know is it maybe just leaving the molding the way it is like see this side this is the passenger side i believe it's this molding's way off that or the like that brownish stuff in the middle or black stuff is rubbed off on the front i don't know what's going on there but it's like there's different green colors and And then this, this side here, uh, the door touches right there, and then you'll see how the body panels just don't line up here. Like, see how, watch the gap, it changes, the gap gets really wide. That's what I love about this truck, you know, it's like, it's just fun. So this is our my uh, my side panel where right, where the, the, the side bed panel body panel. My mechanic was telling me uh, that he goes to this place in Pennsylvania on, in October, and it's like a swap meet. I think he can buy a bunch of used uh, car parts and you know for these type of classic trucks. And he said he might be able to find me two side bed panels. Um, instead of repairing this. I mean, it's repairable, but you're gonna end up losing your patina a little bit. And it, the bed is in bad shape. It's got this big thing missing with Bonjo Bondo and all that stuff. So if he can get me two side panels, that would be awesome. And maybe he can even get me a tailgate. You know, something that's still the same color, has a lot of patina to it. Because this tailgate uh, has quite a few holes in it. Um, it's not in bad shape, uh, you know, like bent-wise or anything like that. But um, it's definitely got some rust holes in it. And, and I think that if he can get me two side panels, never know. He might be able to run across a greenish uh, tailgate which would be really awesome. See the holes in the, uh, in the, in the tailgate. So maybe I can get pictures to him and see if he can find me parts down there. Um, and see if he can pick them up for me. That would be awesome. This part here, this part of the cab kind of concerns me. It's, a uh, looks like it's, a big gap opening up on the roof I'm not sure all what that's about um, it hasn't leaked yet but I don't know then this door cocking around the door I think that's a little strange um, but that could be normal I don't know doors are all out of whack 
There's sometimes they're even in certain places and it's just the door's out of whack. And here's the mirrors. Sure what existing mirrors that used to be on here. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. see here we are. They put this mirror on here but then left the holes for where the old mirror is. My wife really wants another mirror. Uh, that's her biggest beef when we are driving this thing. She goes, I can't see out of a mirror. So she definitely wants a passenger mirror. And I'm just not sure how I'm going to go about doing that without having more holes in my truck and trying to find one that's like this one or go the original one. Um, it's too bad, right? Yeah, so that's my truck. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Uh, it's definitely a fun truck. Uh, I don't mind all these big bangs and I don't know. It's just, it's, I guess I just got to pick my battles uh, when it comes to this truck. You know, what am I going to do? The necessary stuff to make sure it's safe for my wife. I'm going to get her a mirror. I do want to get that, that rear end fixed a little bit, the brakes uh, on the back, but and just do, uh, the, like I said, the necessary stuff. Um, you know, make sure it's safe, at least, uh, for my wife and I. Well, here it comes fat, so. saying bye-bye 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 okay thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one. Oh, uh isn't he a nut what a character i just wanted to do a quick walk around of my new old truck my new classic truck love it don't know what i'm gonna do with it i think i might just leave it drive it until the wheels fall off all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share them with your friends. I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Now, peace!